In my life, I've experienced many ups and downs just like everyone else, but I think my story is unique, and I do believe it is worth sharing. I think that telling your history can be inspiring for others to hear, even if you think that your life may not be that interesting. I'm Eli Seidel, and this is my life. The first place I lived was in a trailer next to my grandparents, but we moved shortly after my sister was born into the house that I have called home for almost 20 years now. I went to Southern Columbia High School, which is known for its football team that I wasn't a part of. <laughs> I was very active in the music department and participated in chorus, gospel choir, and the school musicals all of my four years. I even went back after I graduated to help with the audio for them. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do after high school, so I decided I would attend the Luzerne County Community College campus in Shimokin, getting my gen ed courses. And after two semesters there, I convinced my mom to allow me to change my major to AV Communications and attend the main LCCC campus in Nanticoke. I spent the next two years working hard and making great friends with other students on campus. In May of 2020, I graduated with my associate's degree. I had to attend my graduation online, unfortunately, but I wanted to extend my education farther, and so in fall of 2020, I began attending Bloomsburg University as a telecommunications major. Growing up, I always had an interest in movies, and I knew that video production was something I wanted to pursue in a career. I've been obsessed with movies all of my life, and I've amassed a collection of Blu-rays and DVDs of my favorite films, which include the works of Quentin Tarantino, all of the Harry Potter movies, comic book movies, and my all-time favorite, Star Wars. I like video games just as much as anyone else. The two consoles I use are my PlayStation 4 and my Nintendo Switch. I like story-driven games that allow players to make choices that affect the overall narrative of the game, like Skyrim, Fallout 4, and Red Dead Redemption 2. I also play a lot of fighting games like Mortal Kombat and Super Smash Bros. No one ever wants to play against me though because I usually play as one character and spam one move the whole time. I think the hardest obstacle in my life was when my father Brandon passed away from cancer in 2008. He was diagnosed two years prior and was only 39 when he passed, leaving my mother to raise my sister and me by herself. I was really close to my dad and we did everything together. He was my personal hero and I wanted to be exactly like him. His memory still carries on with me and my family. I created a Facebook page in his memory and I kept some of his things to remember the good times we had, even though they were so short. If I had anything to say to people experiencing loss like I have, it would be that you are not alone. If you look hard enough, you'll realize that there are more happy memories than bad ones. And if someone who has, who has passed away and is gone had people who loved them and cared about them, then they are not truly gone. 